Hello and welcome to Educator.com's AP Studio Art Course. Today we are going to be looking at the breadth section of your portfolio. So let's jump in. All right, so the breadth section of the portfolio has several requirements. The first thing that you need to know is kind of the definition of what a breadth section is. A lot of people have never heard the word breadth. What does it mean, right? Well, for photography, or for really even better, for AP Studio Art, breadth is a variety of works demonstrating an understanding of the principles of design. And we are going to achieve that, of course, through the medium of photography. So they're looking for unity, variety. These are the principles of design that they specifically are looking for. Unity, variety, balance, emphasis, contrast, rhythm, repetition, proportion scale, figure ground relationships. So as we go through the lessons in the next several um, parts of this curriculum, you're going to go through and you're going to see different lessons that have been planned and projects that have been planned around these specific things. Okay. So additionally, we're really what the major requirement is, is basing your projects around those, uh, those those principles of design. So we're going to create 12 pieces that can and often should include multiple images. So that means that I'm going to give you a project and sometimes you're going to want to create the project as a single image and you're going to want to use it as, and turn it in as a single image. And sometimes you're going to want to create a project that's going to have multiple images in it. And it just depends on which project you feel is more successful. Is it better than it's a single or is it better, better when it has multiple image parts to it? Okay, so everybody wants to know about scoring. Of course, you're like, yes, I'm going to do this portfolio. It's going to be awesome. But what score am I going to get, right? And that's where we start. So I've mentioned to you before that the College Board gives you a scoring guideline that you should absolutely download and read. Do it if you haven't already. But for the breadth section, there's quite a long list of descriptors that they use in order to kind of explain what they're looking for in the breadth section. So we're going to go through those. The first thing is a broad investigation of 2D design principles. So things like rhythm and repetition and textures. Those are the things that they're looking to see that you have used to emphasize your subject matter. So I'll talk more about that, those compositional elements in the next lesson, and then also throughout our lessons. Number two, they're looking for originality and innovative thinking. I think that's pretty obvious. Lots of things have been done before. If you're not doing something that's original or innovative, it's really bland and boring. We're not hobbyist photographers for this course. In fact, AP Studio Art, the idea is that you take this class and you turn in this portfolio and you get a good score and then you don't have to take a college level course. It's in substitute, right? So they're looking for you to be original, to be creative, and to be working on fine art type of stuff, not snapshot, not selfies, not stuff like that, all right? That's hobbyist stuff. So we are going to get really original and we're going to have some innovative thinking and projects that are super, super creative. The next thing they're looking for is an application of 2D design principles to a broad range of design problems. Now that is where the projects come in. So unlike your concentration, your breadth is going to be a series of projects that have multiple different types of design problems to them that you are going to solve visually. So for example, I'm going to give you a project on portraiture. It's on expressive portraits and your job is to create an expressive portrait. So that is your design problem and that is one, just one aspect in one genre of photography that you are going to explore. There's lots of other types of genres and other types of design problems, and those are to come. The next thing, number four, is purpose and intention in the compositional use of the elements and principles of design. So what they're looking for is that your artwork is going to show a broad range of these different principles and elements, but that you're using it with intention, that you're using repetition to emphasize something else, where, or you're using, you know, depth of field blur, or you're using texture to emphasize something aspect or some uh, part of the photograph. All right, number five, confident, evocative work that engages the viewer. So confident, evocative work is a higher level of thinking. It's not your basic standard everyday concepts, your basic pictures of flowers and nature and things that everybody else is taking pictures of, but it's evocative, conceptual, creative work. Pictures of things that, you know, might be set up and composed where you designed the entire situation. That's the kind of work they're looking for. Images that are going to tell a story, that are going to communicate something, that are going to be evocative, that are going to engage the viewer. All right, number six, they're looking for technical competence and skills with materials and media. So of course, I assume with this assignment or with this series that you are going to already have a digital SLR camera or a point and shoot digital camera. 
That is my assumption. Hopefully you have that. If not, you're going to need to borrow one or purchase one. Um, additionally, I also assume that you have a computer and that you have Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, Adobe Creative Cloud right now does a student subscription each month and you can get Photoshop for the amount of time that you need it for to complete this course. And further, if you've never used Photoshop before, hopefully you have, but if you have never used it before, I highly recommend that you get over to educator.com's series on Photoshop and get your an introduction to how to do Photoshop. You are absolutely 100% going to need some Photoshop skills to complete the projects that I have assigned and outlined for you here in these lessons. All right, number seven, and then looking for you, obviously, to have a good ability with those things. All right, number seven, appropriation and the student voice. So basically what they mean by the student voice is that you have an emerging sense of style. If I were to take a pile of photographs of, from a different, a, couple different artists, lay them out on a table. I could grab all of the ones that were unified because they looked somehow similar. They all had a voice. They had a perspective. They had a look or a feel to them that made me think that the same photographer took all of them. All right, that is an emerging sense of style. That's a student voice. So hopefully you will finish out your portfolio and you will really show a style, okay? Number eight, image quality. This is basically referring to resolution, making sure that your image is large enough to where it's being projected. It's not pixeled. It's not low res. It's not scratched up. There's not dust all over your lens. There's not rips or tears or anything crazy in your images, but it's a successful quality photograph. All right. And then lastly, they're just generally looking for an overall sense of accomplishment and a quality to your work. They're looking for college level work at the high school level. That is your challenge is to create college level work. And I can guarantee you that at the college level, we are not ever looking at and turning in. Nobody is turning in a snapshot of, you know, someone over here and then there's a bunch of people back. It's, it's not like that. It's not hobby photography. It's not last minute. It's not shooting from the hip. It's absolutely composed fine art photographs. So that is your goal with the Brett section. And the next couple of lessons are going to teach you and show you what you're going to be able to do with all of those.